everyone, Super Kirby Gaming here, and welcome back to Splatoon 2. So we are about to head into hero mode. So who do we have over here? Looks like Marie needs our help. So let's do this. <clears throat> All right. Here we are. So we're just kind of looking around. I'm back to my default clothes. Hmm. The Octarians. Hey. You showed up. As soon as I saw you aimlessly wandering around the square, I knew you were the one. I'm Marie. I know you're probably a bit starstruck, but I need you to get over it. I'm that Marie, you know, from the Squid Sisters. You never heard of me? I'm pretty sure I did. For eel? <laughs> nice. Anyway. Well, you obviously aren't very cultured, but you'll have to do. See, I've got a little thing I need some help with. By now, I've heard that the great zapfish that powers Angopolis Square is missing. Well, it's not just missing, it's been squidnapped by the Octarian Menace. How do I know this? On the surface, I may just look like an absurdly talented pop star. But in truth, I'm Agent 2 of the new Squid Beaks, Squid Beaks Platoon. A secret society of heroes who saves the world from Octarians. Now I've been trying to keep an eye on Octarians in my downtime, but I'm a busy girl. If only Callio's around I, to lend a hand. <clears throat> I need you to get the great Zapfish back from those slimy Octarians. What do you say? Are you in? Ahem. <clears throat> So, I'll take your awkward silence as a yes. Welcome aboard. You are now Agent Four, the new Squidbeak Splatoon of the new, new of the new Squidbeak Splatoon. I even bought you a brand new hero suit as a signing bonus. And look at that; it fits you like a glove. Not bad for an old hand-me-down. Now let's go tear those Octarians lime, those Octarians lime from lime to, from lime, lime, lime. Well, you get the picture. Yeah. Oh yeah, those entrances, the Octarians' Romas are invisible, so you have to ink them to reveal them. Oh, I got a friend online. But anyway. Whoa, that shoots very slow. <laughs> anyway, so we have to save three Zapfish. So, where is the first location? Let's see. Okay, there's the first, there's the one. Alright. So, I think I'm gonna do about at least 15 minutes of each episode of Hero Mode. So, yeah. Murray. Man, I do not like the fire rate on this thing. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Let's try it again. What? Alright. There we go. Uh, 
Um, okay, so I have three lives once again. So last time I, so when I did Splatoon 1 single player, I actually live streamed it. Yeah, I know how to play the game, Murray. I am quite experienced. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, I'm impressed. Now hop onto that launch pad. Alright. So I guess this is just like a tutorial level. Oh yeah, these things. Um, <clears throat> Alright. Okay, yes, swim under gates. Through the squid. Through the squid. Through the ink. That one's... Oh. Oh, I got a key. Open the vault. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. In here. All right. You want armor? Trust me. Oh, okay, we got different armor. Man, this thing is slow at inking turf. Just saying. All right, what do we have in this box? Okay, there's a bunch of power eggs. Okay, I guess they're just called eggs, they're not power eggs, like the ones in the, um, the, what's it called, Salmon Run. <laughs> and hopefully my new mic will enhance the gameplay a lot more. I mean, obviously it will, but hopefully by a lot. Oh, that's right. Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Okay, yeah, I can... How do I get back up? Okay. Sway. Oh, well. Yeah, I could've just splatted him with it. With my bomb. Oh, I didn't get that box. Oh, well. So like for this gun, you just really hate balloons. <laughs> yeah. All right. I noticed like that. I noticed. I noticed like different designs of the ink. So like in regular and ranked battles, they look. It looks really shiny, you know. In um, Salmon Run, it looks very. Yes. Blend. If you know what I'm getting at. Um. And in, uh, it looks really sparkly in single player. Alright. Oh. This should be fun. That is a lot of tenta missiles. Whoa. Okay, I got a key. Okay. Let's see if we can get them all in here. Come on. Okay, let's just go with what we got. Another key there. Wait, what? I wanted to get the other ones. No. Ugh. Wait, maybe I did. Anyway. All right, here's the zapfish. All right, so we got a zapfish. Awesome. Oh, 
Um. Okay, we gotta save two more zap fish. So. Um. Can't go in there yet. Man, some of these can be really hard to find. You're just. Whoops. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, would there be one up here? No. Maybe up here? I don't know what that does. Oh, there's one in here. Oh, that's right, I can swim through it. Um. You know what, I might as well just do this world, and then I'll end the video. So yeah. Okay, uh, don't need to pop that again. Yeah, those sponges act way much, way differently in Turf War than in single player. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Alright, checkpoint. Gadium. Alright. Meh. <laughs> that worked amazingly. Alright, mash the B button. Okay. Alright. Um. Wow, that failed. Okay, and uh, that part, whoa, what? Oh, I lost. Okay, you can actually lose your armor. Oh, okay, but you get them back eventually. All right, that's good. All right, got a different set of armor. <clears throat> whoa, whoa. Ah, no! Okay, refill on ink. There we go. Okay, head up here now. <laughs> and I don't know why the ink is so sparkly. I mean, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it looks bad, but I'm just curious as to why it has different designs in certain modes, you know. I'm really trying to, like, not lack on commentary, but anyway. Alright, oh, it's one of those ink eaters. So let's get up here quickly. Okay, yeah, it actually detects ink. I'm not sure if I remember that from the first game. Alright, come on. There you go. <clears throat> Epic explosion. Okay, uh... Yeah, let's get that before we head in the little jump, jump thing. There we go. Oh, wait, there's something up there, but whatever. Okay, we got a splash down. I should have used the used that on the enemies, but whatever. I just got a notification. Alright, head to me, head toward me boys. Alright. 
I got all but two, three. All right. Yeah, get out of here. <clears throat> Alright, checkpoint. Alright, final checkpoint. An Octo Bomber. Oh, got him. Very simple. Just a bit farther, keep going. Alright, here's the next app fish. Yes! I got it in four minutes, I think. Yeah. Well, just about five minutes. The summer rises. Alright, um. Wow! That was a mistake. Um. Okay, one more zapfish. Could there be one around here? Um. Did I get any scrolls? I don't think I did. No. I don't really care about getting 100%. To be honest, so. What are you doing over here now, Murray? Oh, there's one over here. There's absolutely nothing in those boxes. Alright. Alright. Oh yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, these things. Uh, um, up here. Well, oh, oh, come on. Okay. Oh, all right, the ink rails. Wait. Oh no, it's the ones that you can grind on. Ow. Yeah, I lost my jacket. Yeah, slightly damaged. Ah, fudge. Okay, wait. Okay, I can get up here. There we go. So yeah, showing a lot of the new mechanics, if that makes any sense. Anything up there? No. Alright, come on, move it. Anything else? Oh, boxes. Can I get it? No. I want that. I want that. Okay, this will be the last vi last uh, level for the video, of course. This is the last level of this uh, this sector. I've never seen this armor before. I don't think. Get over here. There. Okay, it looks like I need to go back up. And jump across there. Huh! There we go. Okay, wait. Get this. Okay, good. I can get up. 
Okay, wait for those things to finish doing what it's doing. Ah, these things are annoying already. Alright. Now that's how you climb. Oh yeah. They just have the same armor as before. Alright, got the stingray. Um, I've never been that good with the Stingray either, so... What a player. Oh yeah. Ah! Okay. Final checkpoint. Move it! Ow! Ah, uh, this is not good. Ah! Ooh, that was close. Okay. And we got the last zapfish. Yeah, I lost my helmet. But whatever. Alright, we got that world done. Alright. And I believe that'll take us to the next world. Um, so it looks like there's five... Uh, worlds again, but to boss kettle. Oh, so it's. I thought this was gonna take me to the last sector. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna be recording for a little bit longer then. My bad. All right, let's see how this goes. So the videos after this will be 50 minutes long at minimum. Octo oven. All right. So how do we do this? Uh, how am I supposed to get on them? Okay. Okay. Quickly. Do not stop. You need. I need to keep going. All right. So I need to wait for the thir third time they launch. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. Checkpoint. Come at me. You missed. You missed really bad. Okay, quickly. And boom. mad. <laughs> Alright, final checkpoint. Oh, god. Well, that's going to lower my defense a little bit. And make me a whole lot slower. Oh, boy. This is not good. Okay, I'm back. Back in business. You missed. Come at me, bro. 
And now they have like things that can't be inked, but no problem -o. All right, third hit. Third and last hit, supposedly. This guy's toast! Oh yeah. You're overcooked now. Bam. You're welcome. Brain Yuri. Got it. Good work, Agent 4. I sure know how to pick them. Gotta hand it to the Octarians, though. I didn't expect them to have fully operational Octobosses at their disposal. I think it's time to call in the big guns. Let's see here. Sheldon, can you hear me? Over. Are you loud and clear, Marie? Over. Oh, this man is so cool. <clears throat> Agent 4, I'm Sheldon from Ammo Knights. The only weapon shop in Dinkopolis with over 50, 542 million years of trusted service. That's a long time. That's right. Stop by Ammo Knights in Dinkopolis Square for all your weapon needs. <clears throat> tell me, tell me, tell me Sheldon was sent you. Tell me Sheldon, Sheldon sent you. I cannot talk. Anyway, Marie told me everything. To think that my signature weapons can be of help to new Squeedbeak Squeed Splatoon, I am honored. But I'm afraid I can't just let you treat my vast um, arsenal like, like an all-you-can-ink buffet. I do have a business to run, you know. So let's help each other out. I want you to help me test out some new weapons I'm currently developing. All you have to do is use them in the in real world con distant conditions. If you'll do that for me. If you'll do that for me, I'll be able to gather all sorts of amazing data. That, da that data will help me get the approvals I need to make retail versions of the weapons. And once the retail versions are out, you can use them in turf war battles. It's a real win-win, don't you think? Oh yeah, and... Okay, down, boy. I think Agent 4 gets the point. Let's get back to work, Agent 4. Stay fresh. Alright. So this is going to take me to Sector 2. I thought... Good news. You can now use my Ammo Knight's Enhancifier next to Cuttlefish Cabin. Oh, excuse me. It's a top-of-the-line vending machine that can enhance your weapons and add bombs to your arsenal. The Enhancifier doesn't, doesn't take cash. It takes power eggs and sard sardinium... Sartin Sardinium instead. Alright. It's only going to get tougher. So, you know, it looks like I better use it. But that's going to be the end of the video. It's already been long enough. So, um, yeah, look forward to more Hero Mode on Splatoon 2 until the next Splatfest. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.